uh, Maria, a special story right now. I want you to meet six-year-old Jordan McClinn. He has a fatal form of muscular dystrophy, but he's not letting that keep him from achieving his dream of becoming a firefighter. In fact, this Sunday, he'll become an honorary firefighter for the show at Motor Speedways during the Coca-Cola 600. Unbelievable. Joining us right now to tell us more, live from the Speedway, are Jordan, his mom, Laura, and the executive director of operations for the Speedway, Sean Johnson. Welcome to all three. Uh, Sean, what prompted you to make this invitation possible? <laughs> Brian, we were watching uh, some social media around Christmas time and, and saw Jordan's story, uh, and it touched me uh, deeply. And we have a great team here at Charlotte Motor Speedway that was real excited to be able to extend an invitation to Jordan to become a part of our Coke 600 Fire and Rescue crew. Um, and I, you know, just just saw it uh, come across in a, in a short video, and uh, really just touched us. And we we really. Uh, wanted to have him as a part of our team to really make his dream come true. Laura, you have not stopped smiling since I introduced you. How <laughs> important is this to you and your son? Uh, this is awesome. I mean, Jordan is kind of just living out the dream here. He's down here. He, he's already met Jeff Gordon. He's been around the track in a fire truck and just uh, he's kind of tired right now. Right. But um, he had a really busy day yesterday. Right. We're having a great time. It's awesome. Yeah, that's exactly how uh, Elizabeth has to hold Steve to keep him going in the final hour. So it's, we understand that here. But I'll tell you, I love Jordan's mock resume that appeared. I am strong. I love God. I love helping people. And firefighting is a perfect time for this. I'm going to try this, and you might not want to do it. I've had three six year olds before. Sometimes they answer, sometimes <laughs> okay. they don't. But I want to ask you, Jordan, what do they have you doing as a firefighter on the racetrack? What do they tell you, you have to do? Hey, Jordan, he has a question for you. Okay, they're asking you right now what you're going to do as a firefighter on the track. Do you remember? They want to know right there. Can you tell them? You know what? I, I get you don't it. Remember. I understand, but you've been through it, and I hear <laughs> he's done you're doing a great job, Sean. I want to ask you, Laura, you're fighting for your son every single day, and you want to have the right to try. Indiana passed this. There are drugs that can help your son, but you've got to get the right to try those drugs. Where are we at with this approach? Well, Jordan and I actually uh, lobbied at our state house in Indiana to get the right to try law passed in Indiana. So Jordan has the right to try now. So now it's just a matter of that drug making it through the first phase of the FDA testing, which is coming up really soon. And then, um, you know, getting the drug company to give us um, access to the drug and a doctor to support it. And I know all that's going to happen. And, Sean, how, how does it feel knowing that you're going to be an important part of uh, Jordan's life? You know, I've got kids of my own, and uh, just really is excited to me. It's, it's brought a smile to my face on two very busy weeks for us, to for him to show up yesterday and to get to see Jeff Gordon and and live out his dream this weekend as a part of our team. It's just, it's right. it's rewarding beyond words can explain. Right, and you know what, Jeff Gordon got to meet him, so that's important too. And by the way, it's good yeah, to see Jordan good. like every other kid. Uh, Jordan McClinn, <laughs> Laura McClinn, Lauren, uh, uh, Sean Johnson. Thanks so much for sharing your story. And Thank that, you. Uh, but Thank just you tell, tell them we have a three-day weekend coming up. And it's gonna the race is coming up shortly, and I'll put them in a better mood. Thanks a lot.